Hello, my Reborn family, Reborn community. I am back, and here's baby Evelyn. And we are here to do our entry for my sister, Reborn Blessed. That's Reborn with a capital R and Blessed with a capital B. And it's all together. If you haven't checked out her channel, stop by. I'd like to tell you congratulations to 114 subscribers as of um, July the 1st. Um, I wish you many more and much success with your channel. Um, she's having right now, she's having a, well, it's a giveaway, but, um, or is it a contest? Well, I guess a giveaway and the contest is the same. Well, what she's asking basically is, Everyone to basically state their fondest childhood memory of the 4th of July. And I really had to think about this one. Excuse me for the shaking. I'm shaking a um, little bottle for Hevelyn. I thought I'd feed her um, while I talk. But um, I really had to think about this because I was like, do I really have... One that I can really pick. There was two that stood out. And um, what I will say is generally we go to my grandparents' house. Even now as adults, we go see my grandma and grandpa, which is my father's mother and, f mother and father. I don't know why I'm tongue-tied tonight. And then we see my granny and um, Grandpa Oscar, which is my mother's mom and stepfather. And um, when I was growing up, we would still do that. And I guess the one I will share with you, because I really thought about it, and, you know, the fact that I was in elementary school, I couldn't tell you the exact grade, but I knew it was elementary school. It wasn't middle school, and it definitely wasn't high school. Um, I was in elementary school from kindergarten till fifth grade. Well, till sixth grade. Sixth grade was start of middle school. So it was in that time span. And um, we would, what we would do was we would buy the little fireworks from, um, Phantom and what's the other one TNT or something like that and um, you know those fireworks they're not really <laughs> they're not really amazing but you know as a child you know it it's pretty cool to see you know bright little lights and stuff well we had did that and I guess we didn't have enough money to get many and um I believe my mom was like, uh, why don't you take the kids to um, Cal Expo for the fireworks show over here? Um, Cal Expo, you, well, no, Cal Expo wasn't where Arc Arena was. Cal Expo is, it's kind of like where they have the state fair and stuff. And it has like a lot of empty land, basically, uh, that you can put stuff so they do the fireworks down there every 4th of July, the fireworks that shoot in the air. So my dad actually listened to my mom, <laughs> and he took us down. And I just remember I was sleepy, and we had, back then, we had a station wagon. It was a, a toy coise, more of the greenish toy coise, a station wagon that was a Ford. And I would always sit in the back of the station wagon. And you know with station wagons, if you sit in the way back, you're facing, um, pretty much facing the front of everybody's car. So I just remember us driving there. And then we parked and found a spot. And my dad, he let down the seats, um, the basically the, the trunk has seats in it which is where I would sit and then there was the second roll of seats he let both of those down so that we could lay down and opened up the the back of the car and like we laid down in the back of the car and waited for the show to watch and we watched the fireworks and let me tell you guys 
That was amazing. Very amazing. Um, when you're a little child and you've never seen fireworks that go in the air in person, one, you're scared, and two, you're amazed. And I most definitely was amazed. And it was just so many of them, different colors. It 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 just really was something that you 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 never forget, and we only did that once. Um, so I think that's why it really stands out in my mind. Plus, um, all of my siblings were there. It was my oldest sister? She was still living with us, and you know my sister and brother here. So I really enjoy that, and that's has to be my fondest memory. Um, I'll say an honorable mention would be um, the 4th of July last year. Um, I had gotten a bad car accident last year and hit a tree. And to make things short, um, it was my birthday. It was May, then it was June, then it was my birthday, then it was July, a uh, 4th of July. So, um, Everybody pretty much was coming together, you know, to see me and um, for us just to get together. My uncle, which is my mom's brother, um, he invited us to their house. And um, I have cousins that are younger than me from them. Um, one just graduated high school this year and one, I think she's in high school. Yeah, I think she just started high school and it was just nice to be with my little cousins and to be with um their cousins they're not per se my cousins because they are um my uncle's wife's siblings children so I don't know if they would be considered my cousins, but I, you know, it was nice to see them. And the thing that was fun is we stayed till night and they had fireworks and we did the fireworks and it was pretty funny because most of them were duds. <laughs> they didn't really do nothing. And uh, <laughs> I just was sitting there laughing. Um, and um, then they got those sparklers, the, the sideworks that you hold with your hands. And I never had one of those before, so I was terrified. And I was like, I don't want to because I had on a wig. And I didn't want my wig to catch on fire because it was a long, thick old wig. And I just could imagine looking like uh, Michael Jackson at the Pepsi commercial and my hair getting burnt and me spinning around and falling on the ground. But I eventually did it and... Uh, they took pictures and stuff, and that was fun. But that was when I was an adult. So, you know, that's why I say it was an honorable mention. But I love the 4th of July. It's always fun. Barbecue, family. Hopefully my older cousins will be there this 4th of July. Um, you guys have seen one of my cousins, but you haven't seen my other cousin. Um, you saw Mary, but you guys haven't seen Shayla and her daughter, Jaden. So, I hope they all come and my aunt comes and she feels well. Um, so, that's my memorable 4th of July um, moment. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And congrats again, sis. I wish you many, many, many more subscribers. Pretty soon you'll be on here talking about your 2000 um 2000 subscriber giveaway i'll be like dang you did it girl <laughs> but heaven says bye to her auntie and bye to everybody else out there in reborn land blow them a kiss Mwah. happy 4th of july bye you guys